Hi guys, it's Rampant FM. Ramp I always do Scotland on this because it's just easier. Uh, I actually don't think it's uh, Scottish Premiership. So, obviously, it, you can do it individually. For example, there's only 12 clubs there. But you can you can actually add teams like this. Uh, Dunfermline. So there's, there's different ways of doing this. So we can add Dunfermline to make it 13. And one thing I want to do, actually... So I want to make that a 20 team league. Um, you can do it this way as well. I could like put Aloha. Uh, where is it? Details. Not not doing well. Uh, competitions, there is. Yeah, so you can actually change it like this as well and have them in the Scottish Premiership. So yeah, that's another way to do it. Uh, how many are we? How many did I put there too? So I want another six. I, I usually do it like this. Uh, sh uh, that's five, six. Sorry, Queen of the South and Wraith Rovers. And do, just do the exact same thing. And it will already be there because I've typed it. So the Scottish Premiership should now have 20 teams, if we're lucky. Yeah, so they've now got 20 teams who I've just added there. Um, for the Championship. So there's only two teams in the Championship. Uh, I think we can just put League teams again I'll just shift I think how many is that 10 and I've got two so yeah we will do competitions again general I'll have to type this out now because I've not got the championship oh no it's there that's fine so if I'm right that should have 12 teams always double check your work or anything you're changing just in case so yeah it now has 12 teams um, and we'll go to Scottish League 1, uh, we don't have to do that because that's now empty. Uh, we can now move them to the Championship. One thing, I'll show you in a minute, but one thing you'll have to do... Uh, uh, did I move them to the Championship? Yeah, so 22 teams in the Championship now. So for this, I would have to then go to... I mean, you could technically just have a Premiership and Championship and that would be that, but uh, just out of interest, we'll just put uh, Lowland. We'll put Lowland League teams into League One. I mean, you could actually technically put any team you want, but you would probably have to search them, but it's easier just doing it by leagues. I'll go up to Competitions, General, and then I'm going to put them into League One. I could probably put more there actually. Um, Highland. But I'm just, obviously, I'm not actually going to be playing this. It's just an example. So I don't, it's not like I'm going to rate the uh, Lowland over Highland or anything like that. But they both have 17 teams. I'm just obviously showing you how it could be done. So yeah, press shift and then there we go. And then edit down to in the competitions and we'll put them into League 2. And we'll just double check League 2 for teams. It should just be all the Highland League teams, which is 17. And Scottish League 1 should be all the Lowland League teams. Yep, that's fine. So yeah, that's just a way of doing it. One thing you have to do it once you've done that, because uh, it doesn't really know what you're doing with it, then you would then go to uh, Add Nation Rules, because you have added the teams to the uh, to the current structure. And then obviously we just go down to Scotland. And this is where we, we do our thing. I think it's a wee bit earlier. This is just standard English Premiership, I think it goes with. But it's not too far off. And this is where you would add your transfer windows, your transfer rules if you wanted any. Uh, but the main thing is this, divisions. This is what you want. So yeah, it's only single divisions. Uh, premiership, 20 teams. Number of rounds, play each other twice. That's that's all that means. Uh, we'll just do a three from seven. But yeah, you can make anything you want. Uh, obviously, no promotion places, but we'll have three relegated. And the match day will be on a Saturday. And then you would have to then add the championship. Again, playing each other twice. Three automatic promotions. 
Uh, relegation places will also have three, just for convenience. Saturday, single divisions. Uh, then League One, that's what we'll do, 17. Uh, they play each other twice again. Three from seven. You can add more divisions. You could add like maybe a Lowland or a Custom League. Uh, I think I said three there. Three. And then we'll add League Two again from the same structure. Uh, three. Obviously, if this is your bottom league, then there'd be no relegations. So you want to add uh, cups as well. Which is pretty easy. I mean, you could probably just put Scottish Cup. And that would have the, the teams already in it. The way you would do this is you would add the... It's kind of nippy. I, w I wish it just automatically added the the teams already in the, in the leagues you've kind of already added. You can actually add teams uh, from other leagues if you want to. For example, you could have uh, East of Scotland in there as well. I've actually added that twice there. East of Scotland and West of Scotland. I mean, you can add sort of unplayable leagues uh, in your structure to a cup competition too. Number of legs, we'll put one. Match rules, uh, penalties. Substitutions, three from seven again. And we'll have the match day on Saturday. So yeah, um, if I wanted to add another one, I would do that too. But again, I'm not playing it, so I'm not going to. But you could technically add the the League Cup, which you'd put under Other Cup. Unless you wanted the League, top, League Cup to obviously qualify for maybe the Europa League as well. But yeah, so any cups you want there. And you can have a custom cup there. But yeah, uh, you can change this as well. I mean, you could do more in advanced. If you converted it to advanced, you could add like TV money, do a lot more that way. Uh, but this is like the sort of simple stuff and what you want to do is obviously make sure all this is, that's the, the highest uh, domestic. So you would want to do change that to high for the, the Scottish Premiership. Uh, and then you could add the television money there. Um, you don't have, I don't think you have to do this, but it's always better to. You can actually have playoffs if you wanted to as well, but I'm not going to go too far into that. Um, again, the league sorting rules are the most important thing. Make sure you always add these because if not, then the saves are uh, wasted, basically. So you want uh, points, first of all, uh, goal difference, and then whatever games won, if you wanted. It, it really doesn't matter in terms of that as long as that's added, basically. Dates, uh, you check with clashes through all because obviously I've set the, the cup games on a Saturday as well. Uh, fixture rules, that's if you wanted to maybe add that they had to play so many youths or so many Scottish players, for example. Uh, squad rules, obviously, um, if you... It's kind of similar to England with a 25-man squad. The cups is the interesting one, though, because so you can actually change the fixtures and when they'll be. So if you wanted the, the cup finished earlier, you could change all that. Uh, you could have qualifying rounds. It just changes the sort of first two or three to, to, to qualifying rounds. So you'd be into the what the the first round, quarterfinal, semifinal, final there. So, But yeah, I'm not going to add too much to this because honestly, it's just a tryout basically of what we're doing. I appreciate all the support lately. I appreciate uh, the new subscribers and all the views. Uh, and I'll be back soon.